So what I'm going to do now is show you how to anchor your boat when you do an extended trip, whether it's to an island or whether it's to a beach or something like that. And you want to uh, anchor your boat out offshore so that if the tide drops out, you don't have to worry about the tide coming back in to get out. And also what it does is it keeps your nose pointing out. So if you do get a storm during the night and it blows a different way, so you can actually have the nose pointing out and stop waves from coming over the back of the boat and uh, swamping your boat. It's also handy to have it out there a little bit deeper because usually if you have it in riding on shore, I'll tell you from experience, yeah, you'll end up swamping your boat. So just gonna show you a few things that you need. So you can see here, I've got a sand anchor and connected to the sand anchor. So sand anchor connected to that is a chain and on the chain, we've got a ball with a rope and it's also got a ring on it. That ring's important, which I'll show you soon. So a good length of, of, of chain there, because if you're gonna anchor the boat up, you wanna have a good length of chain. It's two good lengths of rope, and I'll show you why soon. But if you wanna anchor it out about 25 meters, you wanna have at least 50 meters of rope. You'll have another rope to tie onto the back of the boat. So this is how you do it. The ball and chain and anchor down to the boat and it's going to be permanently moored out offshore. I'm going to take this out about 20 metres off where the boat is now, drop the anchor in and take the longest rope with me. So now I've got the uh, ball and chain and anchor, sand anchor. So you need a sand anchor for this, unless you've got reef out in front of you, but you don't really want to be leaving your boat on reef. And I've got the long rope. I reckon about here somewhere is going to be a good spot. I'm just going to chuck this chain out with the anchor. Let that sink to the bottom. And what I'm going to do now is feed this rope the longest rope, feed it through the ring and clip it on onto my front bollard. And now I'm going to reverse this boat back. There we go, we've got some traction. So this will allow you to come in during the day and actually drop off your stuff at the beach and then pull the boat back out to that buoy. So once we're to here, as you can see, I can pull the boat right in. Good idea to bring your sander up, sand time. But what I'm gonna do is quickly race, race this rope up. And this one's gonna be tied off, tied off up under here. I haven't really got enough rope, but we might even move this actually. So I'm just gonna move this down the beach a bit. So I can see the high tide line and it's not getting any higher than this at the moment. Right, so we can tie this straight off onto the star picket. A couple of half inches. Keep it nice and tight. That's not going to be the main knot for it. And then all we're going to do is get this, the other rope, and tie it off on the back. Now I'm going to have to do some swimming here, I think. So we are in trouble. Oh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Now, I don't really want that when you... I'm supposed to have Crocs here. Oh. Create myself, once you've got it done, I just tie it off with a half hitch onto here with a little lock off with a half hitch. And that ain't going nowhere. Once you've done that part to it, all you do, pull this out to the anchor. Shouldn't be too bad. So you can pull it tight, have the nose facing out. And then you tie this end off and you tie the other end off nice and tight onto your star picket. Tie it straight off onto that star picket, nice and tight. So it's out on the ball. Tie the arse end off nice and tight, straight on there. And she's done. 
But hopefully you get something out of that video. <laughs> you get an idea of what's going on. You got your anchor and chain and ball out there. You got a nose, uh, nose rope that goes out around the ball onto the nose. And then you got an ass rope as well. And that way, when you get up in the morning and your boat's floating nice and straight, just let both ropes off and just pull it in. And it should just slide back into shore. Thank you.